Good morning YouTube world. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do uh, command line batch processing for OpenSCAD. Uh, I'm going to give, use this example here uh, generate.scad which has got a very simple if state, two if statements in it. One generates a cylinder, one generates a cube. Currently by default it generates a cylinder. Now We'll close that. First thing we're going to do is make the batch file, which we don't have yet. So call it generate.bat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. And I'll edit it. Now the very first thing you're going to need is your path to your OpenSCAD executable, which if you've just click next like most people do when you install it it's probably gone to the default path if not you'll have to hunt it out and find it it's in your program files directory somewhere so in my case there it is that's mine should be the same for just about everyone uh, now the first that there's one parameter you need it's called uh, minus o not minus zero minus o where we're going to specify the name of the file of the file that we want to generate. So in this case, a cube. We then want to use the uh, name of the SCAD file that we're going to use to generate this cube. Generate.scad. It is there. And then what we want to do is we want to pass a variable to it. Now, if you don't do this, if you don't pass any variables to it, any whatever the whatever the script generates when you just open it up and hit F5 or F6 that's what you'll get. Uh, in this case it's a cylinder because generate equals one generate you know, if generate equals one it'll produce a cylinder there. Now which is fine however we don't want to do that we want to produce multiple objects so you want to do minus D you type in the ob you put in the ob uh, name of the variable you want to change or you want to specify and you simply put a value no spaces and that's it that will generate one cube but we want to do more than that because it's for batch processing multiple objects we want to change it to one so it then generates a cylinder There we go. So what we'll have is we'll have two objects appear in here, one cube, one cylinder. As soon as we execute the batch file. Now, if I double click on that, it'll flash a window because those two objects are very, very quick to produce. So what we'll do is we go into the command line. You can normally just double click on them. I'm going to show just for the sake of this, I'm going to show you how to... So we want to go to my... Open scan directory and I've got it in. And then we're going to run the batch file. And then we'll put bat on there. And there we go. Generated two cylinders. So we generated a cylinder and we generated a cube. You can see the file size is different between both. So one's 20k, one's 2k. So let's open them up and have a look. There's the cylinder. And there's our cube. Very simple. If you wanted to pass multiple variables as well, all you need to do is put another minus D and off you go. You can put as many as you like and you can end up generating quite a lot of useful objects. This kind of thing is useful for situations where say you've got the um, say you've got a uh, like the printer like the Prusa i3. Uh, for example, uh, they've got a lot of 
there's a lot of variables to it. You could potentially say you want to uh, so, so take the um, the Greg's weight extruder. You could potentially do things like specify a different uh, hobbit bolt size, or if you've got a file that produces uh, gears, you can have you can generate using a batch file a whole heap of uh, different sets of gears with different numbers of teeth and all sorts of combinations, you know, um, stuff like that. So yeah, that's how to do that.